My name is Sergei Serebriny, and I work here at the Russian State University for the Humanities. I thank you for inviting me to this program. Being invited to talk about Gandhiji is both a great honor and a great responsibility. During the forthcoming Jubilee year, we will have not only to talk about Gandhiji, but to learn more about him to understand him better and to make him better known to the people of this country. I believe that the Gandhi Jubilee year will be managed with taste and a sense of measure. Now I need not tell you about the importance of Gandhiji for India, rather I may say a few words about his importance for Gandhi my country. Gandhiji represented quite a different tradition of thought and action. He grew up in a rather peaceful atmosphere of small native states in Kathiawar. From his youth, he was influenced by Jaina teachings with their emphasis on ahimsa, nonviolence. Later, he was a student of British law in London, so that in his mature years, he could oppose British authorities in India in their own legal terms. Actually, the political activity of Gandhiji based on the principles of nonviolence, could be possible only within the context of British legal system and British political culture. A figure like Gandhiji would have been impossible, for instance, in Germany under Hitler, or in the Soviet Union under Stalin, for that matter under Khrushchev or Brezhnev either. Hitler wondered why British rulers did not just shoot Gandhiji, Stalin considered Gandhiji and the Indian National Congress as a whole just agents of British imperialism. For such political criminals as Hitler and Stalin, it was inconceivable that political action might be guided by principles of nonviolence. In the 21st century, Russia, as for that matter the whole of the world, is going to face many new social and political problems. And some politicians in Russia and elsewhere may be tempted again and again to solve those problems by force, by violence. That is why the legacy of Gandhiji, the story of his achievements, as well as his failures, will remain very important for us in Russia and for the world at large.